Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well today we're going to show you how to add Lottie animations to any WordPress site. We've done this before with various themes that have got plugins to do it for you, but you can do it with any WordPress site or any Bootstrap or HTML site quite easily too. So let's go over to Lottie or lottiefiles.com. I'll put this link below the video. And they've got all kinds of animations here. You've got a, a load of free ones. And of course, you've got some premium ones. You can also request people to make stuff. I mean, these are pretty cheap, 99 cents, 6.99 for more complex ones. So let's go with this one today. So I'm just going to left click on it. And it opens this up here. And if we look down, we've got use this animation as HTML. That's what we're going to use today. So just click on the HTML. And it'll open up another page. Now you can decide how big you want it, the play mode direction, forward, backwards, background color, transparent, or you can add a color of your own choosing. I'll leave it on transparent. Animation speed, you can speed it up or slow it down. You can choose whether to show the controls. I'm going to uncheck that. Whether to have it autoplay, I want mine to autoplay. And hover, if you check that, when they hover over it, it'll stop playing or it you can choose whether it plays on hover or not. And you can choose whether it goes round and round. If you uncheck that, it'll stop once it completes its cycle. Now, once you're happy with your controls, the HTML right here is generated for you. Just going to hit the copy code. Now, let's go to a WordPress page. I've already got one in here. I need to edit this page. And what I'll do, three little dots up on the right hand side, we're going to be flipping from visual editor to code editor and back. I'm going to put it back on visual editor. And I'm going to delete the block that we've got there, which is this one. Left click on the little dots there and remove block. Great. So let's add a new block and get started. Remember, we've got that HTML code copied. Let's hit the plus sign to add a block going to use simple paragraph text. Now, once it's added it there, I want to flip back to code. And you'll see here, here's a paragraph text and it's empty paragraph. They got some paragraph tags with nothing inside them. Simply click in between or you can actually remove those if you want. It'll it'll put them back in there for you and paste the HTML code in there. Control V to paste. And there we have it. Let's update. Well, actually, before we update, let's go back to, let's change it back to visual, and you're not going to see a whole lot. It's actually there, but there's, there's nothing going on. Let's update the page now. Now let's preview our changes. And there it is. It's inserted on the page between that audio player and this bit of text right here. Now at the moment, by default, it's sort of on the left hand side. If you wanted it in the middle, you could add a bit of CSS code. In the actual page itself, it gives you uh, the option to put a background color in. You can do it actually here as well, quite easily with a little bit of CSS. So let's go ahead and move this to the middle and give it a bit of a background color. And again, we'll flip the code, three little buttons, left click, down to code editor. And here's our script that we just put in right here. And if you notice, we've got a style right there, width 300, height 300. You can change that here if you want it bigger. But let's do that. Let's make it um, let's make it 500, just for fun. And also, I want it in the middle. So after the semicolon, there, I'm going to hit a gap. I'm going to say margin 
semicolon auto, A-U-T-O, semicolon. And let's give it, say, a blue background or something like that. So again, little gap and background, colon, blue. And you can do transitions. You can do any sort of background you want with this. You could even insert an image background if you wanted to, uh, semicolon. Now let's save that update and preview our changes and there we go we've now got it in the middle we've got a blue background and we've got it 500 by 500 and they're great little features to have on your site and like I say you can add this to any WordPress site simply just by using a paragraph block or pretty much any theme you want to so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day